chaired by Deputy Prime Minister for Economic Affairs, Mullah Abdul Ghani Biradar Khund, the regular session of the Economic Commission convened on September 20th at Marmarine Palace. The meeting's agenda encompassed various pertinent topics, all of which were meticulously discussed. Following a comprehensive assessment by the Economic Commission, it was resolved that the Ministry of Mines and Petroleum should tender the contract for geophysical surveys in the promising Keshk Tirpul region. This petroleum rich area spanning 23,000 square kilometers and encompassing 13 districts across Herat and Badghas provinces comprises a total of 10 blocks. Furthermore, after an extensive deliberation during this session, a delegation led by a representative from the Office of the Deputy Prime Minister for Economic Affairs and featuring Deputy Ministers from the Ministry of National Defense, Interior and Finance along with the Deputy Director of the General Directorate of Intelligence was mandated to visit various ports across the country. Their mission, conducted in collaboration with the National Standard Authority, is to investigate issues concerning substandard oil quality and tanker overloading comprehensively, ultimately submitting a comprehensive report to the Economic Commission. In addition, the Economic Commission granted preliminary approval for the design and construction of the passenger vehicle terminal in Guzara district of Herat province, as well as the development of Deer Park in Akina port of Faria province through a public-private partnership. The plan entails a private sector investment of approximately 2 billion Afghanis, aligning with transportation principles, with completion anticipated within two years, generating employment opportunities for hundreds. Also, the Technical Committee of the Economic Commission conducted an exhaustive review of the contract prices for the fluorite mine in Niche district of Kandahar province. Considering the findings of the committee, the Economic Commission determined a price of 15,000 Afghanis per ton for the mentioned fluorite. In addressing the Lagman Shahi Canal project's completion, the Economic Commission entrusted joint responsibility to the Ministry of Agriculture, Irrigation and Livestock as well as Water and Energy to undertake remaining technical assessments and clarify their respective roles in the project. It was agreed that the construction expenses for this canal would be incorporated into the 1403 fiscal year's development budget. Besides, regarding the provision of electricity to Kushtipa and Darzab districts of Juzjan province, the Economic Commission decided that in exchange for one mine, the fourth common electricity transmission line from Turkmenistan should extend from the center of Shabargan to these districts, thereby addressing citizens' concerns and bolstering local industries. Moreover, to enhance citizen services and facilitate necessary infrastructure at Torkampur, the Economic Commission resolved to allocate 540 gerbs of land to the Ministry of Finance, ensuring dedicated spaces for all relevant institutions. Concluding the meeting, it was determined that for one month, dry firewood located in cars or private residences within Khos, Paktia, Paktika and Logar provinces would be permitted, provided that individuals provide a guarantee of compliance with regulations. To achieve this, a designated delegation was tasked with formulating a comprehensive forest protection procedure for future reference, subject to approval by the Economic Commission. Yeah.